At this point, I just might call myself German Watch Gang. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Gang. Welcome to another review of a watch you haven't seen before. Today, we're going to Germany. You know, I have an appreciation for German watchmaking. On this channel, we featured Moritz Grossmann before, Alain und Söhne, Don Blüten Zone, and also Kudoke watches. Today's watch band comes from Schramberg, it's in the Black Forest region of Germany and it's actually been around since 2011. Markus Lehmann founded the watch band after being successful in the watch industry for over 15 years. Lehmann precision timepieces have been around for a while, even before Markus Lehmann took over the company from his parents. They've been supplying the German and the Swiss watch industry with components and also movements. Today we're going to focus on one model and it's probably one of their best sellers, the Intemporal Pointer Date. I want you guys to understand that German watchmaking is often on the same level as Swiss watchmaking and sometimes even superior. As I've said a few times, I'm a big fan of the 1815 chronograph by Lang and Zöne and its finishing is just impeccable. This watch has two distinctive features which I really like. First of all, the case is very unique. The lugs are actually connected to the whole case and then integrated with the strap. It's something I haven't seen and also it helps the ergonomics of it. The second feature I want to point out here is that the crown is actually integrated in the case. So you see, there's a nice line following and you know it's symmetrical to the other side of the case. You basically just pop out the crown like this and then you can manipulate it. So in the neutral position you can wind the watch. This watch is an automatic movement which we'll see a bit later. In the first position you actually manipulate the pointer date which is marked with this beautiful red square here and goes around the periphery of the dial. And in the second position, you set the time. Once you finish setting up the watch, you just push the crown back in. And you see, it disappears in the case. Very cool. This crown system was actually developed by Andreas Trailer from Switzerland. He's the member of the AHCI, the Academy of Independent Watchmakers, and is known as being the problem solver and innovator for many watch brands. The dial is beautifully made. In this instance, we have the blue model. You can also get this one with a white or a anthracite dial, and there's also a rose gold version with a white dial. The indexes, which you can see, are all highly polished, diamond cut, and feature Luminova on them. They are raised and very angular, and I really like them. The blue dial has a bit of a purple hue, but I also have seen it outside when the sun hit it, it changed a bit. It's slightly diagonally engraved across the whole dial and the date is actually sunken underneath. You can really see their expertise because the buckle is very intricately made. As you can see this middle part is super complex and when you close it everything just falls into place. Thankfully this watch is an exhibition case pack. It's covered with sapphire crystal and you can see the rotor is very cool and very unique. This rotor is actually something you can also find on Viani Halter watches. It's actually his design and the middle part of the rotor is made out of sapphire. The winding mass is on the side of it and it's here engraved with the Lehmann name and also a special inscription. This watch is a piece unique borrowed from my friend and this is his Instagram handle. You can find him under the handle BLCKCB. The movement that you can see here is made in house, features blue screws and this very unique two-tone engraving which resembles a checkerboard and I haven't seen it before. The movement features a 42-hour power reserve, beats at 4 Hz and is actually a German chronometer. I really like this brand has, you know, the solo of Jani Halter and Andrea Stil in it. It makes it just so much cooler. The buckle is extremely well made, features the logo on it and is also brushed and polished. From the side you can also see the height of the watch, it's 13 mm. The stainless steel case model wears extremely well on the wrist due to the curved locks and the case. And also the diameter of the watch is 42 millimeters, which for my wrist, which is 18.1 centimeters, is perfect. I really like this design without the crown, it's really special and actually it's comfortable because the crown doesn't get into your wrist. The very thin bezel and the top of the locks are beautifully polished and the side of the case is brushed. Last but not least, if you wonder how much a watch like this would cost, this one approximately costs 12.1 thousand US dollars. And again, for a watch with a very unique design, coming from Germany, very well executed, I think it's a good deal. 
Let me know what you think about this watch and if you want me to feature more German watches on the channel in the future. Also on the side we have a watch we'll have on the channel next time. If you know which one it is, leave a comment down below, maybe you'll get it right this time. Leave a like, subscribe and also share this video, it really helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week.